What can I do for you, Bull? That car in the drive belongs to your son, don't it? Yes, it does. Well, the Abilene police spotted the car in front of a trail dust motel last night. Abilene police were right. He was there last night. Well, sir, this is Mr. Ewing. I know who he is. Well, anyhow, Mr. Ewing says that his little boy was taken out of that motel and driven off in your son's car. That's right, he was. Mr. Farlow, are you saying that my son is here on this ranch? That's right, he's here. Well, I'd be very pleased if you go get him. I'd like to take him home. I can't do that. What do you mean you can't do that? If my son's not returned to me immediately, I'm going to have the sheriff here arrest you and Steve Farlow for kidnapping. Mr. Ewing looking to make trouble? Nothing I can't handle. You're Steve Farlow? Yes. Were you that rodeo rider? Made a pass at my wife. Call it what you want, J.R. Well, I, I couldn't care less about that. I want my son. Not this time, J.R. John Ross stays with me. I'm suing you for divorce. Mr. Ewing, the child's with his mother. No need for you to worry about his safety. My son has been kidnapped. Now, I want him returned, and I want these people arrested. Mr. Ewing, you heard what Mr. Farlow said. Now, there's no cause to blow this Sheriff, door. we're talking about a kidnap. I don't see that any crime's been committed. Ain't that right, Mr. Farlow? That's right, Bo. Do you also mow his lawns on your day off, Sheriff? Now, there's no cause to get nasty, sir. Why don't you go home, J.R.? Sir Willen's with me now. Phil, I want to talk to you alone. I don't think that's a good idea. She can speak for herself. Unless it's a crime in this county for a husband to talk to his wife. If it's all right with the lady. Sue Ellen. Sue Ellen, it's important. But we're just going to be right over there. Your boyfriend can come to your rescue in one mighty hobble. Please keep an eye on it. Well, you can have him, honey. But I swear you're not going to keep my boy. 